Ain't no Happy Meal bags and, and, and fries and shit. Nah, they make sure their cars be clean as a motherfucker. But them niggas got dependents, okay? But, and, you know, that's a whole nother motherfucking video. That's a whole nother motherfucking video. But goddammit, man, if you stand over here at this woman's house majority of the time out the week, nigga, you ain't got no business not being willing, willing to put something on something. Women, same thing. If you're staying over here at this man's house, majority of times out the motherfucking week, you just can't be giving up pussy poo poo. Huh? You can't just be giving up pussy poo da. Poo, you can't just be giving up pussy. You're going to have to cook sometime. When this motherfucker come home from work, have his house and shit cleaned up. Have dinner and shit ready for this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? We're nurturers by nature. That's what the fuck we do. And goddammit, if you don't know how to cook yet, and I got over 100 goddamn cooking videos on this motherfucker, it don't make no goddamn sense because your auntie done already told you how to cut up a motherfucking chicken, make goddamn cheesy, beefy nachos, and goddamn oatmeals, and goddamn meatloafs and shit. And you mean to tell me that you still can't do this? It don't make no motherfucking sense. Okay? Go buy some groceries sometime. Put some little groceries in their pad and shit. Make sure they got what they need. You know what I mean? Bring that nigga some weed and shit. You know? Do some little extra little things to where, you know, take the load up off of them. You know what I'm saying? Do the little small shit. Clean out the refrigerator. Clean the microwave up. You know what I'm saying? Clean out the tub. Wash the sheets. You know? That shit like that really means something to them motherfuckers. Really. I'm serious. You know, not just the fact that your motherfucking ass is just laid up here all motherfucking day in this nigga's spot and ain't doing shit and waiting on this nigga to come with something else to eat or whatever. Nah, mama, you can't do it like that. Come on. You do have to do, you know, domestic goddess work, okay? Now, I know motherfuckers probably feel a certain type of way. Oh, well, shit, this women lives and we don't do, we, as women, we don't do that shit no more. Well, hell, shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> it's in the word. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's in the word. That's what we was brought here to do, nigga. We got, we got them niggas rib. You understand me? We got they rib. We walking around with they rib. So, then therefore, hey, you know, it's part of the word. Proverbs 31, look it up. I ain't, I ain't just made some shit up. I'm just, you know, I know what the fuck I'm supposed to do as a woman. Okay, I don't need to be told that. You know, let's not get it mixed, misconstrued or twisted. I know what the fuck to do as a wife, as a mother, as a good woman, as a good girlfriend, fiance, whatever you want to fucking call it. I know what the fuck to do. But you get what you deserve, though. So you can't expect a woman to do this, 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 and this, but yet still you want some bullshit. Girls, you can't expect this nigga to give you all his money and all his time because a man is, wherever he spend his money and his, and his money and his dime, that's where the fuck he really, you know, that's where his heart is at. Where he spent his money and his time at. It ain't got nothing to do with fucking. Because men can fuck without feelings. They can go and fuck some shit off of Figaro, Long Beach Boulevard, Martin Luther King Boulevard, or whatever boulevard in y'all town. A motherfucking man ain't got no problem with getting some motherfucking pussy. Most of them. Okay? And especially the reckless ones out in this motherfucker. They ain't got no problem with pussy. Pussy ain't got no face. So then there for eight. You know, getting them a little piece of pussy, they hit it from the back, they ain't never even got to look at that motherfucker. Them niggas will get up, go wash their dick out in the sink, and ask you, well, what you about to do? Huh? Yeah. They, they That's probably why the motherfucker came out with Uber and goddamn live, huh? So bitches can go home at the end of the night. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying, though, on some real shit, don't, don't factor it in. Oh, because he tell me that my pussy is so good and all this old type of shit. Boy, this motherfucker say, I got a yuck some pussy. You know, all this old type of shit. That don't mean that this motherfucker sprung off your ass. It's the shit that you're doing with this motherfucker. It ain't got shit to do with your pussy, baby. Because pussy is free. Pussy is everywhere. You know what I mean? Pussy is everywhere. That's what's so crazy. And the reckless ones, they abuse it. But then there's some men out here that's very responsible responsible and respectful. They don't give a fuck about... Because quantity ain't shit over quality. Okay? You can have nine motherfuckers that want to suck your dick in a row. That ain't got shit to do with quality. You can have a motherfucker at the house that'll suck your motherfucking dick, let you get a little ass, some pussy, and all that other kind of motherfucking shit, and this bitch gonna feed your motherfucking ass and have your food and get you fucked up to go with it. You know what I mean? Which one would you want? You want 10 of them motherfuckers that's right there that's just gonna suck your dick? You gotta watch your wallet, gotta watch your phone, and the rest of your shit all motherfucking night long and wait on lift to come pick this bitch up after you done came? 
Or you want this motherfucker right here that's going to, you know, hell, you treat this motherfucker right, she's going to do all that shit and then some. Some of these bitches take raps for niggas. He didn't do that, I did that. You know what I'm saying? All a man got to do is treat a woman right. It's an investment. You treat a woman right, ain't a goddamn thing she ain't going to do for you. And vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Ain't shit, ain't shit that a motherfucker man ain't going to do for your ass if you good to him. Okay? But if he's mentally uh, unstable or he running other bitches or got some other shit going on, then he's not going to be able to receive it. Well, I don't give a fuck how much, how much goddamn meatloaf you cook. How many goddamn pots of ox oxtails and potatoes and shit, neck bones and rice. It ain't going to make no motherfucker never mind if he ain't ready. Okay? They don't change their stripes. They change what they feed. Okay? So, keep that in mind, girls, the way as you know, you thinking, oh, okay, well, this pussy right here got this shit on lock. Oh, my God, this nigga, he can't, man, he love this motherfucking pussy. Pussy is pussy. And there ain't nothing better than pussy than new pussy. Okay? So then, just, let's just keep it real. You know what I'm saying? You can buy pussy. You can buy plastic pussy. You know what I mean? Shit. And I'm so motherfucking cold-blooded shit. I gave my man a pussy. Uh, nigga, here, uh, I, I can't do this right now. I got this right here going on, period, shit going on. I think I, what, what's happening? I got a gift for your motherfucking ass. You know, that ain't the way it came about, but hell, hell, hell yeah. Shit, I blessed that nigga with his own motherfucking gift bag at, at dinner. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker was like, oh, you brought me something? Yeah, hell yeah, I did. Yeah. That's the kind of woman I am, Okay. Shit, I gave that motherfucker a nice little gift bag of shit. That motherfucker opened it up. I'm like, what is it? I said, nigga, it's a pussy. So then therefore, they, it's a three-way. One side got a whole motherfucking tongue with a with a with a with a tongue with a with a uh a thing out a uh, a uh, uh, ball on the tip of the tongue. The whereas it's like a motherfucker's giving you head on the other. You flip that motherfucker over. It got a hole at the top, hole at the bottom. The hole at the top is for the pussy. Hole at the bottom is at the it's it's for the dick. I mean, for the asshole. So which one you want, nigga? Because right now, I love you, goddammit, but I'm going through what I'm going through, uh, mentally, physically, whatever. So, nigga, handle that, goddammit. Get you one, you know what I'm saying? Because, uh, look, this, I'm just that one, okay? And I know some of y'all probably be like, damn, she did what? I ain't going to give a nigga no, no, uh, you know, I ain't going to tell a nigga to just go head on and go get him a bitch on the side. Nah, I ain't going to do that. Now, I'm a realist now, and I do know that what you withhold, a motherfucker going to go get what he want to get if he want to get it. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, I've been that one before in my life. Nigga, uh, here, here you go. Uh, handle that. <laughs> handle that shit, okay? Now, one thing about me, though, I've never had a threesome before. I'm a, I, I, don't know, I don't know how the rules go with that. You know, because, see, I'm going to be coming in dictating like a motherfucker. Because you can't eat this bitch pussy. I ain't going to watch it. Fuck that. Okay, that's what you're not going to do. That's part of the terms and conditions. I don't give a fuck, nigga. We got this whole motherfucking term conditions on what the fuck is going to happen and what ain't. I need to know what the rules is on what everybody about to do in this motherfucker. And this bitch got to have somewhere to go after this, after this right here. Because first of all, bitch, you ain't going to call on a random ass Tuesday. But what y'all doing, though? Nah. <laughs> if I was to do it, it's going to be so many motherfucking terms and conditions to this shit. I mean, that's me, though. Because I'm just not going to be able to just do it and then, God damn it, bitch, you live in our town. You know what I mean? You live in our state or whatever, and we just doing this, and bitch, you trying to hook up with my dude after, nah, I don't know how motherfuckers can do that. For real, I don't know. And then, too, on top of that, you really, really, really have to have a grounded relationship, in my opinion, to open it up for somebody else to be in there. Because, man, how in the fuck can you relax and you seeing this nigga fucking this shit out this woman? She eating your pussy, he hitting this bitch from the back, and it's like, you know this nigga liking it. It's like, you know, it's some terms, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how, I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe it's just the way that I'm wired. You know what I mean? Because promiscuity, I put all that shit with that. You know, I, 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 I don't, I've never had in my life. As God is my witness, three different niggas, two or three different niggas that I had rotation with that I was fucking this nigga on Tuesday, this nigga on this day, this nigga on this day, this nigga on this day. This. I've never had that before in my life. I don't know what the fuck that is. I've always been faithful. Now, once your motherfucking ass do some shit, nigga, all bets is off, motherfucker. Oh, okay. I done allowed you to, I done allowed you to do that a couple of times now. But now that I see that you become a regular, oh, okay, so now I have to treat you accordingly. Nigga, you go do you, I do me. 
You don't ask me no motherfucking questions about my business. Not you, nigga, and I won't ask you none either. Now, what do we have? What would we have at that point in time? Because, see, I'll be one of them. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to shut down. Okay, I see this motherfucker stint continue to do him. Okay, so now it's my turn to do me. Because, see, now I'm going to give you some a la carte, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Some shit. I'm, I'm, I'm going to serve you a little a la carte. Some shit I ain't gave you before. Huh? My turn. What? What is it called? My turn. My turn, motherfucker. My turn to do all this motherfucking shit that you've been doing. It's my turn now. Don't ask me no motherfucking questions. Don't ask me where I've been or where I'm going. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you done had your time. You done done. You let me do me. Huh? What is the problem? Motherfuckers will have a problem with that. And I think that's why these motherfuckers is out here killing them. I don't know. But it's like, man. Or, or it don't have to be that. Because a motherfucker can be so twisted up in here. Regardless to how much you tell this motherfucker you ain't doing shit. Just like um, North Park. Just like this motherfucker here in, in Cleveland or whatever. And he, you know, he mad at some other woman or what? Man, it be in they motherfucking head. Now, I'm not saying that some of these women ain't out here cheating on men and stuff. Because I hear men say all the time that women can be something else. And I have yet to see that. Because I believe a simulation and association works hand in hand. And there's not a woman in my immediate circle right now. Okay? That I would have to say, I got to watch you with my dude. I can't keep no company with you. If it's ever been put out that, nigga, you might be one of them, I feel a little bit uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? You, nigga, you've been one of them at some point in time. I can't be comfortable with that lady. You know what I'm saying? I can't be, you can't really be my friend. You know? So, I hear men say, women are doing this and women are doing this and, man, a woman is cold and a woman will do this to you and a woman will do that. That mean that woman got fed up with your ass or she just didn't give a fuck about you in the first place. Because honestly, I really don't think women are totally wired to just do some dumb shit to motherfuckers. Now, unless she's broken, she's lived a hard life, she wasn't really shown love, she don't know how to receive it or give it, uh, then those women, I I'm certain that there are a selective few. I I'm certain there's a percentage of those. You know what I'm saying? But nigga, for you to attract them kind, nigga, what's up with you? For you to attract them type of women right there, it's something up with your motherfucking spirit. Because then therefore, shit gravitate to you. Just like I come to realize that the things that I've dealt with and the other things, I've called that into my reality. Because of the decisions and the choices that I've made in my life. It brings all that shit back around full circle. Somehow or another, it doesn't, it's karmic. It just is what it is. You know? And I don't want, as God is my witness, as I'm putting it on this motherfucking platform for the rest of my motherfucking life, nigga, I want zen. Zen. If I can't have zen, I don't want it. I don't want no strife, no murky waters, no this and this and this. I don't want, I've, made, I've laid down, you know, the foundations for me to live a comfortable life the rest of my life. I did that for me, plus three. I did that. So... I ain't going to never be in a predicament or in a situation where a motherfucker tell me, get out, and I ain't got nowhere to go. Fuck that. Nah, hell nah. And goddammit, it cost me a whole bunch of thousands of dollars with commas in them motherfuckers. But guess what? God blessed me to be able to make that shit concrete for me. And God damn it, I'll be damned if I'm going to let a motherfucker talk me out of my shit or talk my shit down to me like I ain't got shit. You know, and I've had that shit too. Oh, your shit ain't all that. Oh, it ain't all that. Oh, it ain't all that. It ain't all that. Nigga, you ain't all that, motherfucker. You written it? You written? You ain't even got shit, motherfucker. Okay? Shit. Let's just be trill. You saying that I ain't really got shit, but not now one of them motherfucking chicks that you been fucking with got what I got. Let me just go on and be clear with that. Okay, I'm talking to somebody right now. Okay, I don't even know if that motherfucker watched my videos or not, but I'm talking to a motherfucker right now. Yeah, you might have came and said, oh, well, yeah, well, shit, well, you can do this to this, and you can do this to this, and you can do this and this, but guess what? Check this out. <laughs> I got it to do. I got it to do, baby. Don't hate on it. You know what I'm saying? Don't hate on it. I'm talking to somebody right now. Don't hate on it. I'm shining. All of them winning. Okay? <laughs> I've been losing my mind. 
Shining, 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 yeah. All of them women. Yeah. And I do know that now, these last few months, last couple of weeks, I've been, all this shit has been coming back in my head. Motherfuckers been saying to me, you know, about this and this and this and this and this and you ain't that and you ain't got that and how come this and that and this and I don't like your shoes, I don't like your hair, I don't like this, I don't like that. Man, motherfuckers has been trying to fuck with me for the past nine years. I've been going through it. And it's all coming to the motherfucking forefront. A motherfucker saying this, saying this, saying this, saying this, saying this, saying this. I have to release it. I had to. I'm releasing it now. This is this shit is it has no authority in my life. The energy, I don't even need it. I'd rather be I well, I got my baby, but I and I don't mean that in in, in, in some bullshit way because I love him. I know that he loves me. But check this out though, baby. I love you. This ain't even about you. You know what I'm saying? Me and you done laid up and done talked a whole bunch of nights. You know what it is. You know what I like, what I don't like, and you know what the fuck I ain't gonna sign up for. So, baby, don't get this misconstrued or have this, you know, you getting your feelings over this right here. Because I'm just going through the chapters of my life. Don't take it personal, okay? Don't take it personal. These are my feelings. I own these. Those are my transgressions. I did those. You know, I've talked to you about it or different things on how these motherfuckers had to, you know, try to hold me accountable or make me feel bad over these stupid ass things, different things that I've done in my life. That has no more authority. It has no more, I'm giving it no more of my motherfucking personal time or space. I'm not going to allow those things, you know, for motherfuckers to throw those things at me. You know what I'm saying? Hit me with darts. Um, okay, well, you need to do this. You need to do that. You need to do this around here. You need to do that around here. You need to do this not done, and that ain't done. Like, motherfucker, you ain't got no baseboards. In it. Man, shit. Kenya got a home, okay? And last night, she damn sure let it be known on Sunday that she apparently ain't got no motherfucking mortgage to go with it. Okay? Nah, I think that was Sheree was saying that she don't have no mortgage. Maybe the other one got a mortgage. Either way, I don't know. I don't care. You know, and either way, that shouldn't be of, of concern to neither one of them motherfuckers. So what? It's her shit. And like she said, she did it all on her motherfucking this and that. Don't say nothing about a woman that has done her shit by her motherfucking self. Okay? I'm one of them. Don't talk about what the fuck. Because I did what I did. based. I, I made the best motherfucking decisions based on the options that I had to work with. And when you're doing something by your motherfucking self and you sprinkling, okay, I got to put something on this, 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 something on this. You can't put things on everything. You know what I'm saying? When it's just you, oh my God. But I've had motherfuckers talk down about my shit and nigga, you ain't got a fraction of what the fuck I got. Don't do it to yourself. Okay? Don't do it. But then I had to let you know, get up out of my motherfucking bank statements. Get up out of my motherfucking business. This ain't got nothing to do with you. How the fuck I... What? What? Why are you in my money? Why are you in my shit? You know what I'm saying? I ain't in your shit. You know what I mean? I ain't in your shit. You know, so yeah. I done had some motherfuckers talk some shit. You know what I'm saying? Men and women. I ain't just talking about dudes. I'm talking about some of them, some, some women. You know what I'm saying, too. You know, them talk some shit. You know, so, uh, yeah. Uh, on that note, I'm gonna get up.